As some of you saw, I was on this past Wednesday's episode of ABC's A Million Little Things. That'll be 2405. Oh, so weird to watch myself. Let me get another five. <laughs> Not a lot of acting required here because this is Ryan Hansen. Ryan Hansen is only two degrees from... Hey everyone, my name is Davin Tong. That's right, Davin Tong. The majority of you know me as Peter Chow, but my real name is Davin. I'm a working actor. Working is a glorified term. Struggling is more the appropriate word, but that doesn't sound as Hollywood, you know? Uh, as some of you saw, I was on this past Wednesday's episode of ABC's A Million Little Things. And in this video, I thought it'd be fun to walk you through the entire process from receiving the audition, from doing the self-tape, to submitting it, and finally landing the coveted role of delivery guy. That's right, delivery guy. Big role. Now I'm by no means an established actor, as you can tell from my IMDB page. I only really started taking this seriously back in 2017, I would say. I've had an agent in representation since 2012, but for the majority of the 2010s, I was only doing commercials and things to really get my feet wet, to be comfortable in front of the camera, and commercials also paid really well. So that was nice. But in 2017, Peter Chow was very much on the way out. It was winding down. And from a creative standpoint, I was wondering to myself whether I was capable of doing anything else. So A Million Little Things is an ABC show, very similar to the This Is Us's and the Grey's Anatomies. It's mostly a dramedy, but it's got moments of comic relief. And That'll I, be 2405. Oh, so weird to watch myself. But there I am, delivery guy. Oh, uh, I thought it, they said 20.05. Um, let me get another five. <laughs> this is a look of a delivery person who wouldn't appreciate a 95 cent tip. In addition to the very generous tip I was already mm. going to get. See, that's, that's better. You better be giving me like an extra five, ten dollars. So going from this look now, going to this tip I was already This had. look. Big difference, right? <laughs> Acting. We're so ten. Oh my god! You're Camden Lamaru. Hey. I'm your biggest fan. Not a lot of acting required here because this is Ryan Hansen. Growing up, I was a very big fan of Veronica Mars, and Ryan plays Dick Casablancas. And I also have to mention that working with Ryan has resulted in me only being two degrees away from Dwayne Johnson. It's about drive. It's about power. You know, it's interesting that uh, when you watch yourself on screen, you notice... Just the worst stuff about you. Actor insecurities. You notice the uneven sideburns. You notice the giant zit. The very H&M 2006 wardrobe. It's a beautiful thing. Let me hook you up. Sure. Thanks, man. Can I get a selfie? I actually like it when people come up for selfies. Like, people who recognize me from the Peter Chow days. I truly admire it. The only time that I don't really like it that much is if I'm eating. Yes. Oh, it's on video. While we're here, can you give a shout out to my roommate, Damien? He loves you even more than I do. But I thought you said you were my biggest fan. No, I'm just kidding, man. What up, D-Man? Hey, thanks for supporting the team. Go Bees! Thanks. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, but now there's just the matter of the self. So that's the scene. Very much less than 30 seconds, really. And now that you've watched this scene, I kind of want to take you through what the self-tape was like. When you're on set, you have everything. You have the props. You have the bills. You have the delivery bag. You have everything that you need to get into character as the delivery guy. But when you're taping and submitting these roles to the casting director, it's a blue screen behind you. You're imagining a lot of things. And you're putting the best version of yourself onto tape so that casting directors can make a decision decision on whether you're a good fit for the role. So before we dive into watching the self-tape, which is rather uncomfortable, I haven't watched it since booking the role, or doing it for real, for that matter, because watching myself in self-tapes, anyway, it's weird. But your agent does a lot of the work in terms of putting you forward for certain projects that they feel that you're a good fit for. So after the submission process, the casting directors have their short list of people that they want to see as the character, and then your agent sends you what are called sides. Sides is an excerpt of a scene from the episode or from the movie, and these are the sides that you use to serve as the scene that you auditioned for. So let's jump in. Oh my God, you're Connor Monroe. So the first thing there is that they changed the name. Connor Monroe changed to Camden Lamaru. Oh my God, you're Camden Lamaru. Hey. And as we watch oh this, God. I mean, Dude, he's so there's funny. a lot of I'm your biggest fan. improv moments in which I've kind Did of inserted bits yourself? of dialogue. Sometimes the lines me? are obviously important. But to add a little bit in there to pepper it yeah, with that video. energy, Maybe uh, I think is what got me to roll that energy. Oh my god, dude, he's so funny too. I'm your biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. Do you mind if I take a selfie? 
Can I get a selfie? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, uh, it's on video. Maybe you can give a shout out to my roommate, Damon. He's an even bigger fan of you than I am. Oh, it's on video. While we're here, can you give a shout out to my roommate, Damien? He loves you even more than I do. I'm filming on my phone. Otherwise, I would have used my real phone Dude, as the prop. So I used awesome. a hard drive Thanks. there. Now it's just a matter of getting the selfie. A lot of actors, I think, would have turned away from the camera to take the selfie. But I decided to keep everything straight on so that the casting director or whoever's watching the tape gets to see my face for as long as possible. And that's more of a technique that I've learned in acting class is you need to make sure your face is seen for as long as possible, especially if it's a short scene like this one, the casting director wants to see your face. And even on the day you turn around, you do all that fun stuff, but you don't get to do that when you do the audition. <laughs> He's not gonna believe this. And so I improv that last little bit. And it's just to button the scene, to give it a little bit more life so the scene doesn't just abruptly stop. It was a short audition piece. I did it literally in 15 minutes. It was only like four or five lines, obviously. And that's what got me the gig. Truthfully, this is not something that happens all the time. I'm not saying that's super easy. Put it on tape, you get the role. That's not really how it works. I do like seven of these a week. I've done hundreds of these since the beginning of 2020 and I've landed three roles. So rejection is very key with being a working and struggling actor. So if you're an actor, I hope that this gave you insight. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your other actor friends, or even if it's a friend that wants to get into acting. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on set.